Good day class! For today's lesson, we have Quarter 1, Module 1B, Lesson 1, Factoring Perfect Square Trinomials. As you recall, we have perfect squares and square roots. Did you know that squaring a binomial creates a perfect square trinomial? Look at these examples. This time, observe this illustration very carefully. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the square of a plus b. Keep in mind that the factors of a perfect square trinomial is the square of a binomial. Example number 1. Factor n squared plus 16n plus 64. Start the first given trinomial. If there is a common factor, you need to factor it first using greatest common monomial factor. Since there is no common factor, you may proceed with step 1. n squared plus 16n plus 64. n squared is our first term, 16n the middle term, and 64 is the last term. For step 1, determine whether the first and the last term are perfect squares. The first term is n squared. The square root of n squared is n times n and that is n squared. The last term is 64. The square root of 64 is 8. Multiply to itself will give you 8 squared. Both are perfect squares. For step 2, determine whether the middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first term and the last term. Our middle term is 16n. The middle term should be equal to twice the product of the square root of the first term, which is n, and the square root of the last term, which is 8. Now let's multiply. 2 times n times 8 is equal to 16n. And that is equal to the middle term. For step 3, since the conditions are satisfied, then n squared plus 16n plus 64 is a perfect square trinomial. Step 4, factor completely n squared plus 16n plus 64. n squared plus 16n plus 64 is equal to to the square root of the first term, which is n, square root of the last term, 64, is 8. Both are positive, so the sign is positive, and then square the binomial. This means that n plus 8 is multiplied to itself, so you can express your answer in two binomials, the quantity of n plus 8 times the quantity of n plus 8. Example number 2. Factor 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Since there is no common factor, you may proceed with step 1. Let us identify the first term and the last term. The first term is 4x squared. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared is x times 2x equals 2x squared. The last term is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. Times 1 equals 1 squared. Both are perfect squares. For step 2, the middle term is 4x. 4x should be equal to twice the product of the square root of the first term, which is 2x, and the square root of the last term, which is 1. When you multiply, you'll get 4x, and that is equal to the middle term. Step 3. Since the conditions are satisfied, then 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial. 
Step 4. Factor completely 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 is equal to the square root of the first term, which is 2x. The square root of the last term, square root of 1 is 1. They're both positive, so the sign is positive, and then square the binomial. Or you may express your answer in writing 2x plus 1 times the quantity of 2x plus 1. Example number 3. Factor x squared plus 14xy plus 49y squared. Since there is no common factor, you may proceed with step 1. Identify the first term, and the first term is x squared. Identify the last term, and the last term is 49y squared. The square root of the first term is x times x is equal to x squared. The square root of 49 is 7. The square root of y squared is y times 7y is equal to 7y squared. Both are perfect squares. For step 2, check for the middle term. And the middle term is 14xy. And that should be equal to twice the product of the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term. Multiplying this will give you 14xy. And that is equal to our middle term. For step 3, since the conditions are satisfied, then x squared plus 14xy plus 49y squared is perfect square trinomials. For step 4, factor completely x squared plus 14xy plus 49y squared. x squared plus 14xy plus 49y squared is equal to the square root of the first term, which is x, the square root of the last term, which is 7y. They're both positive, so the sign is positive, and then square the binomial. Or you can express your answer in two binomials, the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x plus y. Example number 4. Factor 3x squared minus 18xy plus 27y squared. Since there is a common factor, factor it first by greatest common monomial factor. Let us identify the GCF. The GCF is 3. This was discussed in Module 1A, Lesson 1, Factoring by Greatest Common Monomial Factor. Let us divide the given trinomial by the GCF. 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. Minus 18xy divided by 3 is 6xy. Plus 27y squared divided by 3 is 9y squared. Then, let us proceed with factoring the new trinomial. For step 1, we have the new first term is x squared. The new last term is 9y squared. Get the square root of the first term and that is x times x is equal to x squared. The square root of the last term, 9y squared, is 3y times 3y is equal to 3y squared. Both are perfect squares. For step 2, check for the middle term. The new middle term is negative 6xy. 
and it should be equal to twice the product of the square root of the first term, which is x, and the square root of the last term, which is 3y. Multiplying this will give you negative 6xy. And that's equal to the middle term. Step 3. Since the conditions are satisfied, then 3x squared minus 18xy plus 27y squared is a perfect square trinomial. Step 4. Factor completely 3x squared minus 18xy plus 27y squared is equal to 3 times the quantity of x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared. equals 3 times the quantity of the square root of the new first term which is x the sign is negative positive so the sign will be negative and the square root of the new last term which is 3y and then square the binomial or you can express your answer in 3 times the quantity of x minus 3y times the quantity of x minus 3y. Example number 6. Factor 9x squared plus 12xy plus 16y squared. Since there is no common factor, let us proceed with step 1. The first term is 9x squared and the last term is 16y squared. The square root of the first term is 3x times 3x equals 3x squared. The square root of the last term, 16y squared, is 4y times 4y equals 4y squared. Both are perfect squares. Step 2. Check for the middle term. The middle term is 12xy. And it should be equal to twice the product of the square root of the first term, which is 3x, and the square root of the last term, which is 4y. Multiplying them will give you 24xy. And that is not equal to the middle term. This means that the trinomial is not a perfect square, thus you don't have to proceed to factoring. That's all for today class. Thank you for watching. Bye!